What's up guys, Mullet Reaver here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and today we are going to be in Sand Devil 25 with the new team I came across recently. Uh, that is super quick, uh, really cool team, so I figured it was a good time to show you because it does feature Siffy, uh, and we did actually just have a 10x for her yesterday. So if you were lucky enough to pull one, uh, or if you already have her, uh, this is an excellent team to put together that is actually pretty... Uh, I don't want to say accessible because it is still high-end, uh, but it is a lot easier than I expected it to be whenever I first saw it. So what am I talking about here? Uh, first champion is going to be Riho Bonespear. Obviously, it uh, was a guarantee way back in the day. Uh, if you don't have her, uh, then you're probably better off with just a Godseeker Aniri uh, and like Ninja Team, something like that, uh, because she is really one of the primary enablers of Sand Devil. Uh, in order to be able to drop him in any sort of quick time because she puts up all of those debuffs at the same time. So we are using her. Uh, she is still required in this. Uh, it, it just is what it is. So with her, we've got her at my normal build. I've had a couple of teams with her in it. Uh, she's 308 speed with enough accuracy to get it done. That's really all we're worried about here. Uh, 550 accuracy is preferred. Uh, Obviously, anything over, I believe, 305 is where you want to be with her. Uh, she is, of course, fully booked. Uh, we do have Brimstone Mas Mastery, or Brimstone Awakening on her. Brimstone Blessing? Brimstone. Brimstone. We got Brimstone. It's Brimstone. Um, so that she can put an extra debuff up uh, on occasion, which makes it a little bit easier. Uh, for Masteries, we are down to Eagle Eye for her, which is the main one just to try to get that accuracy where we need it. Next up is the Siffy. That's the uh, one in question. The nice thing about this team is actually the fact that uh, most of these builds are just the same builds that I have them for other content in the game. And they're just kind of put together in this because the builds that they typically use match uh, their need in this tune. So in the case of Siffy here, uh, this is my arena build. She is just built for speed. Uh, nothing else really matters. So mine is... Uh, 405 speed, you do not need to get anywhere near that. Uh, anywhere faster than that Riho is all you need. She just needs to go first in order to sleep the boss, and then Riho uh, will do the A2 in order to put up all those debuffs. So she's just got to be faster than Riho, but the only thing we really care about for her is that speed. Uh, other than that, uh, again, she's built for Arena, so she's got Sheep on her, uh, and then just standard Arena Masteries for a speed champion. Next up, we've got Kaimar. Now, Kaimar and Newt are the next two. They are both in my Fire Knight Hard 10 teams. These are the exact same builds that I use on that team. They're just plug and play into this one. Uh, for Kaimar, you can see he is built for damage. Uh, he is only going to be doing a reset, so the only thing you care about really is his speed. Uh, the rest of it doesn't matter. He doesn't even get to attack the boss. Uh, so he has 233 speed that is actually slower than Newt, which is where we need him to be. Um, that is so that Newt can do his A3, the big uh, 3-hit enemy max HP skill, uh, and then get reset so he can do it again. So you just care about that speed being less than Newt. Uh, other than that, it doesn't matter. This is, again, this is built for Fire Knight. Uh, he has Soul Reap, doesn't matter. Uh, of course, booked. All we're using is that A3, though. Uh, and then we have down to War Master one more time. Doesn't matter because he doesn't actually do anything in the comp other than that reset. Next up, we have Newt. Newt also built for my Fire Knight team. He is in lethal. You do need to get damage on Newt because you want to hit that 10% damage cap against the uh, boss pretty much every time. Uh, so purely damage and then as far as the speed that you need. So mine is in lethal. He is 254 speed, anywhere faster than... Um, your Kaimar is going to be good anywhere in that 240, 250 range uh, and then as much damage as you can get on him. The rest of the stats don't matter a whole lot other than that crit damage because all we're doing is the enemy max HP skill. Um, however, because he's built for my Fire Knight team, I do have the other stats filled out for him. I do actually really like Soul Reap on him for this purpose uh, because sometimes you get to a battle in this where the boss still has you know a couple 
ticks left of their HP, uh, and the Soul Reap will pop out and finish it off for you just so you don't have to worry about it. So it makes the runs a little more consistent, um, and it does come and does proc occasionally, which is nice. Uh, as far as masteries go, he is down to Giant Slayer. Uh, that is because he does have that three hitter that we're using. Uh, the rest of it doesn't make a huge difference in this purpose. Uh, and then last but not least is Godseeker. Now, Godseeker is um, a couple of things here as far as purpose-wise. So she does need to be in a six-piece stone skin. Uh, this is so she does not die whenever the boss eventually gets to use his A3, uh, which is the big whack that kills everybody unless you happen to have stone skin or revive on death, something along those lines. Uh, so she does need the 6-piece stone skin. Other than that, I built her for damage just to try to get a little bit of extra in there uh, to make it a little more consistent. So this team, while it can be 100%, um, you can easily run into missing a little couple percentages of damage uh, right at the end, uh, especially if Riho gets random resists on the debuffs that she's putting up. Uh, so I do have her built a little bit for damage where I can, uh, but the important part is about 200 speed is what we want for her. Uh, she is also booked, of course. Does not have any blessings on her whatsoever. Uh, and then I just have her down to War Master again, just that uh, extra damage component that we're looking for. Uh, so those are the builds. Let's take a look at our presets. So the, the team that I actually used previously was actually this team here. It's a, a Duchess team. Uh, again, with the Riho. Uh, very consistent. It's about a minute and a half team. I was actually going to do a video on that as well because Duchess was also a 10x two days ago. Uh, so if you want to see that, let me know. Uh, but other people have done this team. It's pretty consistent. It's not very difficult to build if you have that spare Duchess uh, available. And then just a couple of enemy max HP champions. Uh, but this is the one we are going with here. Uh, for the presets, so we are going to open with Riho on her A2. Uh, and then prioritize the A3 because she's going to do that on her next turn. And then wait for the uh, her third turn is where she's going to do the A2 a second time. Uh, with Newt, he is only going to do his A3. He's actually going to do it three times, which is pretty fun. Uh, he's going to do it once on his own, obviously, because he's going to go first. Uh, then Kaimar's going to reset him, so his second turn he's going to get it as well. And then after that, his Godseeker is going to revive him which is going to allow him to do it a third time so that's where we want to get that max hp cap uh, because that's 90 percent damage right there so all we're doing again is prioritizing the 83 god seeker we are going to open with her a1 uh, this is just to delay uh, her revive which i guess she would get delayed anyway because there's nobody to revive yet but anyway uh, we're going to set it priority just so she doesn't waste her a2 uh, then we're going to prioritize the A2, or the A3, and then the A2. Kaimar, again, all we're doing is the Seal of Magic. That is the only thing he is there for. Uh, and then Siffy, uh, we're going to open with her A1. That is going to sleep the boss. You can prioritize the revive. She dies right away anyway, so it doesn't actually make any sort of difference about her rest of her skills. So that is the team. Let's go ahead and run a couple of them. Like I said, it is very quick. Uh, it's pretty interesting dynamic between them so you see we get to sleep uh we get a bunch of debuffs put up by reho we get our first big slam from newt and then we roll through it again second one after because kaimar reset us boss is going to go and wipe everybody out except for uh, god seeker she is her passive is going to revive the reho and then her a3 skill is going to revive newt and the a3 revive actually resets his cooldowns which allows him to do that A3 one more time. So 22 seconds, 14 turns, very quick, very consistent. It's pretty much always like that. Uh, you can run into some issues sometimes if some of these debuffs get uh, resisted, particularly the decreased defense. Uh, however, as long as Godseeker is able to take enough turns before the boss cycles back to the A3, uh, she's just going to revive with her passive, which will get um, Riho, and then you'll survive anyway. So it is able to pass it if, in case you do get those resists. But you can see 
boss wakes up, we slam him once, we reset. We do it all over again. We get wiped. Revive who we need to revive. More debuffs. Slam, slam, slam. 22 seconds, 14 turns, just about every time. And you can see that time we got the uh, proc from the Soul Reap there. Um, I guess it counted as a turn, or maybe the boss needed to take a turn and the HP burn got him. But 15 turns on that one. Same time, though. Uh, so that's it. That's what we got. Uh, I like it. This is going to be my new team. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you in the next one. Later.